Next question. The open loop transfer function of a feedback control system is Gs Hs is equal to 1 divided by S plus 1 the whole cube. You have to find out the gain margin of the system. First option is 2, second option 4, third option 8 and last option is 16. Okay. This would you have to find uh, know what is the gain margin. Gain margin of the system defined as how much the system gain can be increased so that the system moves on the edge of a stability. Okay. This uh, gain margin can be determined from the gain, the phase crossover frequency. The, the equation for gain margin is Gm. Gain margin can be represented as Gm is equal to 1 divided by mod g of j omega into h of j omega at omega equal to omega pc. This is the equation to find out the value of gain margin. Okay. So, what gain margin is how much the system gain can be increased without uh, moving from the wedge of stability. Okay. So, here the given Gs Hs is equal to 1 divided by S plus 1 the whole cube. We have to replace S by J omega for finding out the gain margin from board effort. So, G of J omega into H of J omega is equal to 1 divided by J omega plus 1 the whole cube. We know that for finding the gain margin, we have to find the frequency which is equal to phase crossover frequency. Okay. So, equation for finding the phase angle G of J omega into H of J omega. Angle G of J omega into H of J omega is equal to, you know that it will be minus tan inverse imaginary part by real part if there is the, if the J omega term is on the denominator side only. Okay. But, here 1 by j omega plus 1 the whole cube. So it will be written as minus 3 tan inverse imaginary part omega by real part. So this minus 3 tan inverse omega which is equal to minus 180 degree. That means phase crossover frequency. Then the gain margin can be determined when the frequency is equal to gain crossover sorry, phase crossover frequency. So, uh, we already said that the phase crossover frequency is the frequency at which this g of j omega into h of j omega is equal to minus 180 degree. So, we can, we can be written as minus 3 tan inverse omega is equal to minus 180 degree and thus these two minor negative signs will be cancelled that is 3 tan inverse omega is equal to 180 degree. That is tan inverse omega is equal to 180 by 3 is equal to 60 degree. So, omega which is equal to omega pz is equal to tan 60 which is equal to root 3. This is the omega. Okay. So, we calculate the value of omega. We have to substitute the value of omega in the above equation. So, mod g of j omega into h of j omega is, is equal to, what is the standard form? 1 divided by root of omega square plus 1 square. That is 1 divided by root of real part square plus imaginary part square. Okay. Which is equal to. Then we have, we have to substitute the value of omega here. 1 divided by what is omega root 3? So, root 3 the whole square plus 1, that's the square root. 1 divided by root of root 3 square plus 1, which is equal to 1 divided by 3. Root 3 square means 3. 3 plus 1, 4. 4. Here there will be a cube here. Cube. That is 1 divided by 4, the whole cube. Okay. That means 1 by root 64, which is equal to 1 by 8. 
this is mod g of j omega into h of j omega so for finding the gain margin it is is equal to 1 by mod g of j omega into h of j omega at omega equal to omega pc which is equal to gain margin is equal to 1 divided by 1 by which is equal to a will be the correct answer okay next question will be discussed on the next video